Hey everybody, this is your man Jason Miles. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about $100,000. Throughout all the trainings that we do, and you know, uh, uh, whether they're live events or whether they're paid events, you know, we've got people all the time talking about they want to get into the six figure range. Now, of course, it depends on where you are in the country, where you are financially. You know, $100,000 means a lot more to some people than it does to others, right? But I'm here to tell you that $100,000 is a great place to start. And there's a number of different ways that you can reach this $100,000 mark. So when we're talking about $100,000, and of course this is in relation to real estate because that's what I do and that's what we teach, right? So $100,000. Being able to get there on an annual basis, you've got to make about, about $8,300 a month. You've got to be able to make about $8,300 a month. So how can you do that with real estate? How is that even possible with real estate? And how long can it take you to get there? Well, our average deal on our wholesale side is about five or $6,000. Sometimes we get these big home runs and we'll make, you know, $17,000, $16,000, even $20,000. You know, those help us get there obviously a lot faster. But how many of those deals do you need on a monthly basis, right? Just one. Just one. But wholesaling isn't the only way. Because I got to tell you, wholesaling is great. It's a perfect way to make some money, but it's, it's, a, it's a deal by deal thing. You know, you're hustling from deal to deal. The whole thing about doing real estate, or anything for that matter, is to be able to live off of a passive investment, right? So wholesaling is just the start. If you don't have anything, or if you're like me and you've actually built the business around wholesaling, you're going to continue to do those things, right? Because there's great money in it, and you can get to that six-figure mark. But how else? How else can we get to a point where we're doing $8,300 a month or $8,600 a month or $9,000 a month or $10,000 a month? How can we get there? Well, there's a number of different ways to get there. So let's look at it for a second. You could buy a house through traditional methods and you can make, you know, 100, 200 bucks a month because you've got to, you know, you got to pay taxes. You've got repairs. You've got all these things that you have to do and it just eats away at whatever profit you have on an annual basis. It just eats away at it. So there's another way that you can go about doing this, and this is with lease options. Now, you don't need a whole bunch of money to do this, and we can, we're can we going to talk about it in a few different modules, right, or, or whatever. We'll just talk about it a little bit later. But if you do a lease purchase, because there's a ton of them, you know, you do loan takeovers. You know, you, you, you buy a house, you're not really buying it, but you're taking over payments and the other person that you're getting it from is basically acting as the bank for you. But then you in turn lease purchase it to someone else. Now, even if you were going through traditional methods in buying houses, if you were uh, buying houses, fixing them up and then renting them out or lease optioning them out, you still have to refinance out of them. And there's companies that'll help you, but you're gonna pay a higher interest rate, but that's all relative, right? But if you can get someone that's going to come into that particular property, maybe you're paying $1,000 a month. $1,000 a month for your payment. But you can get, not counting the down payment, but you can get $1,400 a month. That's $400 to you every single month. Now, how many of these deals do you have to do passively to get to this point right here? To get to this point right here, you have to do about what? 20 deals, 21 deals, something of that nature. About 21 deals, 21 deals makes you 100K a year. You have to do 21 of those to get you there. And that's if they were just there. But I can tell you, there's a lot of deals that are going to be five, six, seven hundred $700 a month. And I'm not counting the down payments that you have to get on some of these properties. 
on every one of these properties for that matter. I mean, it may only be a couple thousand dollars, it may be $10,000, but it doesn't matter. On, on average, you're gonna get about $3,000 now, okay? But if it costs you a thousand to get in it, you just made another 2,000. And if you did a deal like that a month, just one of those a month, if you did one of these a month and one of these a month for a whole year, a wholesale deal, I mean, you're, you far surpassed your $100,000 goal. Wouldn't you agree? So you have to understand that there's a lot of different ways to get to the point that you want to get to. And yes, we do teach about wholesaling. And yes, we have a wholesale company. But again, the last thing you want to do is spend every waking day hustling for another deal. That's just not what you want. I promise you that's not what you want. If you want to be able to sleep in, you should be able to sleep in, right? It's your business. It's your life. You do what you want to do. But you can't make money if you're sleeping when you have to do deal by deal by deal to make money. But if you incorporate these passive income opportunities into your portfolio, well, hey, one deal's not going to make you rich. But one deal is going to pay your car note, your insurance, maybe your grocery bill for the month, whatever it is. Ten of these deals pays for your mortgage, definitely your mortgage and your car note, right, and your insurance. And it's just passive. Whatever you're doing on the side, that's just money that's going right into your pocket. So I want you to just take a little minute and think about what it is you want and how, how you want to build your business, no matter where you are, whether you have money, whether you don't have money. If you have to start off wholesaling and, and build that business into something else, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want more information, make sure you click the link below. Inside the description here, there'll be a link to where you can find more information about some of this stuff. So don't hesitate. Focus on what it is you really want and do not waste time. This is your man, Jason Miles, and I appreciate your time. I'll see you on the other side.